Hey everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of According to Michelle's. And this is me, Michelle's. Yes, I have another episode today with August, for August, the Black Owned Business Month. Remember we've been talking about that? And so today I have another phenomenal owner of a business. You may know her for her Monday Minute Motivational Speeches. You may know her as an idea genie. You may know her as an educator. But today we have with us the author, entrepreneur, business coach, life coach, however you want to title her, Mrs. Sonia Green Reynolds. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for another episode with Miss Sonia. Welcome, Sonia. How are you? <laughs> I brought my own audience. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> How are you doing today? I am great. Thank you. It's it's uh it's just amazing to catch up with you, Shelly. And thank you. Um, you know, you made me feel extra special there. So we <laughs> celebrate life's moment, and this is a life moment for you. So that's what I try to do, make everybody feel <laughs> special about themselves. And I'm really ma trying to master that. So thank you so much. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about you. Introduce yourself to the people. Tell them, you know, something that, you know, that they will love to know, perhaps. And as they, I'm, I'm, listen to me, I believe that from this interview, you will get more customers. And so I want them to have an idea who you are and who they're entering in a journey with. Talk to us. Okay, so first of all, let me take my glasses off so you can see my beautiful eyes and look into them. <laughs> As Shelly said, uh, my name is Sanya Green Reynolds and I it's such a great pleasure to be here. Um, I am a bubbly person, as you would have seen by now. I can't stop laughing, <laughs> even if you try to give me a reason not, not to laugh, I still will laugh. Um, and, you know, I do value and appreciate relationships. So, you know, I've known Shelly for over the years now. So I'm that kind of person who I'm not just in this for the business of being in the business, but I'm here for the journey, for the relationships that we will have um, along the way. So I can support you, not just uh, you know, if you're writing a book, but what if you're doing something else that I can support you with? I am that kind of person. So yeah, that's me. A woman of faith, I must say. Um, without God, I am nothing. So, you know, that's a very important part of my identity as well. So not only am I a, a business owner, but I am about the father's business as well. Amen. <laughs> amen. Amen. So her company is called Lit Publishing and she also does not only writing, so she's an author, but she's also a ghost writer. So we're going to go into all of that because I'm so excited. Whenever she puts her post out, I get so intrigued and my writing bugs start itching. I just need to settle down and start writing. But I'm oh, damn. <laughs> always a motivator to me. And I, I said, okay, you gotta keep, you, you gotta stop being the wannabe person. You gotta do it. So, guys, we're about to enter into the world of writing, publishing, everything. So, for persons like myself who is still mean and hiding about starting, <laughs> what are some tips you want to give them if you if they're they're on the verge of writing this book or they even finish the book? What are some things you want to um, encourage persons to look out for or to do as they get ready to, you know, get to that publishing stage or, you know, whatever aspect you want to touch as it relates to the writing process. All right. So first you asked me, um, what's the difference between ghost writing and writing? And, um, you know, a lot of people, I might say, even yesterday, I touched on this a little bit in one of my broadcasts. 
um, on Facebook. Um, a lot of people believe that all the successful authors that they see around the world, that they are sitting down and writing them book, their books for themselves. And that is not necessarily the case. Yes, the ideas might be theirs, but when it comes on to uh, getting the book written and getting that idea in a flow, because, you know, most of the times you read a book, it's just a little idea that's different from somebody else's. But a ghost writer is someone who takes that idea and write that book for you. And they're making sure that all the ideas that you have in your head, in your mind, they are reflected on the pages of that book. Um, but you don't have to go through the, all the hassle of writing word by word by word. You know, it could be a ghostwriter for the prime minister, for example, doesn't sit down and write his speeches. You know, he may have a few things that he would want to say word for word. Uh, when you read some of these blogs, not everyone sit down and write their own blogs or speeches or books or ebooks. You get someone to write them for you. Of course, you're getting the credit because you are investing in this service. So, yes, I do offer that service. That's a, a high end service that I. Um, I do offer to my clients. Um, I can write your book for you. You don't have to write a word for yourself, but definitely it's going to be your words that are reflected on those pages because we have our signature way of extracting that information from you. All right. And when it comes on to writing, of course, you can sit down and write your book for yourself, you know, under my guidance or under my tutelage. I do offer that service as well, where it's a done with you kind of service. So you don't have to sit and do this all by yourself. Accountability is a big deal in writing a book. That's why you haven't started yet. And even if you start on your own many times, you probably will not complete on your own, maybe three, four, five years. When with accountability, it's something that you could finish in three, three weeks or a week, seven days. Um, up to 90 days, you know, I tend to work with people over a 90, 120 day period. So yeah, <laughs> um, that's, that's, that's the difference between writing and ghost writing um, as best as I can put it and quickly as I can put it. Um, and this, I must say also, yesterday I was sharing as well, that when it comes on to writing a book, one of the things you need to remember that Rome wasn't built in a day. Yes, you can write a book in a day in that you can sit down with someone who is a professional like myself and you can, you know, sketch that book. You can lay the foundation of that book. And yes, your book can be ready to be expounded upon. So that book can be written in a day in terms of having your outline ready and you know exactly what you're gonna write about, you know what's gonna be in chapter one, two, three, four, five. And then you are going to go ahead and expound upon that over the next how many days you decide on doing that. But the most important thing I want you to take away from what I'm saying is you must have a plan. So outlining and, and drafting your book and having a plan in my business, in my world is super important. So do not skip that stage and start at chapter one because that's where you're going to be stuck, right? So having that plan is important, whether you're going to choose the route of ghostwriting or you personally writing the book. Awesome. Very important. Awesome. Yeah. Now, at least I know I'm on the right track. I do have the outline. <laughs> <laughs> I do have the outline. <laughs> Good. I'm so happy for you. But then again, too, when I look at the outline, it better be good because, of course, you want to make sure you have a good structure to build on. So um, I that's one of the things that I do meet with clients one on one. So whether you're going to it's a ghost writing or not, I do meet with clients one on one to discuss that. And it does take some time because I want to really be clear about that. Okay. All right. So now if this um, individual are listening on or watching, um, I remember 
you um as you said the 120 day i remember earlier this year you had like a like a weekend boot camp kind of a thing like mm -hmm. help, let us help you write your book in in a weekend something like that or yeah. am i wrong mm -hmm. yeah right. we had a three-day um master class um yeah, yeah. i know i remember something I know <laughs> different times, ladies and gentlemen she does different coaching programs or boot camps so that's what every time I see she do that, I get excited, but that's all it is. I need to really <laughs> get back together. Anyway, but tell us a little bit about your different coaching approaches. So you you have the weekend boot camp, you have the 120 day. Um, I think there's a 126 ones, right? I don't remember. Anyway, my math is maybe a little bit rusty, but I know you had different, <laughs> different um programs. So tell us about those programs, how persons can connect with you and so on as it relates to getting in touch with you. Right, so first and foremost, the name of my company is Lit Publishing Limited, as you can see there. Um, and at Lit Publishing Limited, you can choose how you want to uh, go forward writing your book. Is it that you're looking for that uh, guidance? Are you looking for accountability? Are you looking to ensure that you have someone who you can call? Because when I get off this interview right now, I'm going to meet with a client one on one to sit down and go through chapter two of her book um, because I sent her away with that sort of assignment to go do the things that I, you know, outlined for her to do, to build on and create her chapter two. So yes, there's that one-to-one -one kind of um, situation. There's also a group learning. So it, at different times, I will, have different programs and my programs are relatively small because we're dealing with book writing and it's I'm a very hands-on person so it's not one of those mass classes where uh, I'm just spewing information and I'm not having that one-on-one -on -one time with my clients because that is very important I know so we have small group classes and we also have our author readiness um, boot camp, as you suggested, which by the way, is usually free. Um, it might not be free for much longer. Um, but there I teach people how to outline their books, you know, get started on their chapters and decide their why. Why is it that you want to write this book? Because in my business, I teach people how to, like I have done myself, how to use a book to build your business. So for people who want to you know build a business depending on whatever no matter what whatever niche it is you definitely want to consider writing a book because that's just a great way for you to get the credibility you know you know establish yourself as an authority figure and also get uh people you know people write books and give it away all the time why because it depends on what exactly they want that book to do for them. Do you want people out there to know you for your knowledge that you shared in that book? It's okay to give away $20 because that person may come on as a client later on and pay you thousands of dollars. So in that way, when we look at the return on investment on a book, it's a huge return on investment. So uh, those are the different ways right now. And also, um, I do have a self-paced uh, course that people can enroll in. That way you don't see me, you see me and you don't. So you're not getting that one-on-one, -on -one, but you're getting the digital uh, learning experience. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So ladies and gentlemen, as she said, she is the owner of Lit Publishing Limited. So real quick, um, let us know how we can connect with you. What are your social media handles? What's your website, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> right, so um, I I want to give you my <laughs> my I'm so used to throwing it out there. I want to give you my uh, calendar link so that you can share um, share it with with your listeners. Um, you okay. can connect with be, me at in my description, guys. That link that she's giving us will be in the yeah. description. Mm -hmm. Right. So right. So it's litpublishing.cartra.com at let's write that book now and I'll I'll give it to you for you to put it in your description and of course you can connect with me at you can find me on Facebook Sanya Green Reynolds I am on Facebook I'm on LinkedIn and that's where I share you can join my group as well on Facebook where we are um 
you know, actively sharing information on how to get started on your book, how to outline your book, how to develop your book, and how to get published as well. Because I am not one who you can if you want to go to a traditional publishing house. But for me, I am here to support those who want to try that alternative publishing route, which some people call self-publishing. So you want to try and, and do this on your own so you have 100% rights in of, you know, of your content and you can use that content however you want to make it work for you. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, so <laughs> the description, the link will be in the description, guys, for you to connect with her. And as well, she's also on Facebook. She's also on LinkedIn. And she's kept mentioning that Facebook Live that she did last year today so i'm thinking that if that's where she's regular sharing her information so let's plug in let's get connected so real quick um sonia um you have been doing this for quite some time right where do you see this business even extending within the next five to ten years where do you see yourself in the next five to ten years wow <laughs> Well, all right. So yes, I have been doing this for a little while now. Um, I was doing it on the, my name, SaniaGreen.com, and then I moved over to Live Publishing Limited. Now, of course, we have a website, but to be honest with you, I don't like, I connect pe with people on my social media more than I do on my website. It's just a thing. I don't know. <laughs> But uh, in the next five to 10 years, I definitely see us having uh, clients in every single country in the world. You know, I'm a global woman. I'm an international um, woman. <laughs> and I've worked with, I have worked with people uh, of various nationalities now and, you know, in quite a few countries. But I do see our brand um, really expanding uh, our tagline at Lit Publishing Limited. Our mission is to illuminate the world with words. And for us to do that, we definitely want to ensure that we're working with authors right around the globe. And we'll also want to make sure that we are providing full-time employment for more people. Right now, we have contractors and freelance people who work with us. So definitely the goal and the plan is to make this world a better place by definitely contributing to more households and families, um, educating more people and, and inspiring more people to write their books. Because as I said before, there are several reasons why you might want to write a book, but they're all great reasons when you think about them, whether it's for fulfillment, whether it's for, you know, the purpose of starting a business and expanding upon it, getting known, getting paid, getting seen, whatever that purpose is, we want to be the facilitators of that purpose so that you can definitely illuminate your world and the world of others with words. Awesome. I love that tagline. I love that tagline. Thank Say it again. Illuminating. Illuminating the world with words. <laughs> awesome. Yes. Let there be lights. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Awesome. 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 Okay. So we know a little bit about what you do, right? If someone was supposed to get to know you a little bit more, right? So if someone was supposed to walk into that lovely space you're seated in what a must that they will see that you use so it's like your go-to item or your go-to tool what's definitely a must that they will see in your office in your space that you need they will say yep this is on your space okay it's my space if you're seeing like more than 10 notebooks and diaries <laughs> <laughs> that's just that's two and here's a whole stack of paper and here is another whole book written down with somebody's whole course uh sketched out and another book and my devotional journal yeah <laughs> awesome 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 that's me that's me that's definitely my <laughs> space so if you see gentle people ladies and gentlemen we are 
you're going to be in good hands once you just plug in with Miss Green Reynolds. She she literally has someone's work open in front of her right now. She's getting ready to plug in with somebody, and she would and and let me tell you, she is definitely a woman that you can rely on. You can count on her for her her what's the word no um credibility in terms of plugging in with you and giving you her hundred percent. I'm telling you, that's that's a woman I know. And so it's a, always a pleasure just to share with you guys, people I know who are doing the thing and who is doing it right. And this is somebody I definitely recommend for you to consider plugging in. Don't follow me with my procrastination. <laughs> Like, this is so Please much don't work. follow her. Oh and we're going to get her to write that book, by the way. 2022 <laughs> is, I'm going to prep her <laughs> in the last months of 2021 for 2022. Come on, guys, look out for that book. <laughs> Come again? <laughs> what did I'm you say? I'm telling the people to look out for your book because I'm going to be prepping you <laughs> in the last months yes. of 2021 for that book to be released in and you know I started it I started I started the both of them and, and then just time got, I got yeah. away with me and she it, started been two, a books. Pause. two books <laughs> girl I need to I need you to know do. what's going on back there like she's like do I do it here or do I do it? this is what when you know you need to get a professional in the mix yeah, right. I'm not here. 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 i am not connect with Sonia definitely um quick question Sonia um you do this Monday motivational um moment and 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 that's one of the I always look out for those that's been such a blessing to me and I know many persons um connect with you through that so towards the end I want you to give me a little I know I didn't tell you ahead of time, but I just felt inspired a while ago. So towards the end, I'm going to ask you to just leave something motivational. It doesn't have to be from your arsenal, but you know, what, however you feel, feel it. So get yourself ready for that, okay? okay, okay. <laughs> All right, um, real quick. One of the things I like to do with my, my, my customers, my, my, my audience, sorry, um, is encourage them to take care of themselves. And I always ask each person that comes on my show to just share briefly what their self-care regime or, you know, what, what they do to help themselves to thrive and survive in this world. Like there's so much being put on you or thrown on you and you have to do and navigate. So for you, what's your self-care tip that you do for yourself thank you for that question now um for me self-care has become more of a lifestyle than just like you know tips or like something that i randomly do so as for example um i shared that i have my my journal here where um you know shelly is also a part of my community is where she would see me having my devotionals where I do morning devotions and things like that. So I literally build my life in a way or structure my life in a way where I am taking care of each part of me. So, you know, for me to start my day, I am literally, you know, checking in with my father, thanking him. I journal, Lord, thank you for today. Like, you know, and today is the day that you have made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. And I try not to lie about it because, you know, sometimes we get to that place where we read scripture and it's just a habit for it to roll off our lips and we're not really conscious of Am I being joyful about my day or am I nitpicking and complaining and, you know, just being miserable when I did say today's the day that you have made. So that's one way that I take care of my spirit. That's and that's self-care for me when I connect with God and know that, hey, 
um, you know, I'm blessed to, to be alive today. I look around and my heart goes out to the different catastrophes that's happening in the world. But it's also a reminder that I am alive. And this is one of the reasons why I do what I do, because we never know when we're never here anymore. So it's very important for us to be in the moment and live in the moment. So apart from journaling and meditating, having my devotion, uh, I, I also am a like I do so many things like I'm a green juice kind of person so I'm always juicing cooking something nutritious um I drink a lot of water I also do my hit workout my brief like 20 minutes workout but then when I'm done I'm flooding with water so I'm, I'm literally working out my whole body high intensity interval workouts um and I also make sure that I take time away from myself. So I am one who will fill up my bath, you know, put some Epsom salt, some lemon and stuff to do my little detox. I'm detoxing from inside and I'm detoxing spiritually and I'm detoxing physically as well. So it's more of a whole not so much tips for me, but more of a whole lifestyle for me. Um, I might not, um, listen, if you go to the doctor and ask the doctor, I'm not the healthiest person because I have a chronic illness and I should have had knee surgeries. And I, there's so many things that the doctors want to tell me that's happening, but I'm the kind of woman who believe that the Lord is healing my body and it not, might not look like a instant healing, but it's all of the decisions because he literally spoke to me and told me about the decisions and the discipline that we have when it comes on to take taking care of ourselves and, and choosing what we put in our bodies. So that's where I am now when it comes on to self-care. It's a mind, body, and soul kind of experience for me. Awesome, awesome, awesome. This sounds good. <clears throat> <laughs> this sounds good. <laughs> all right. Um, also, all right, so we talked about your self-care, and I, I really love that you were able to share so much with us and I appreciate that you are also um you mentioned earlier you were um you had different books that you work through is there any particular book that you are reading now that you want to share with us <laughs> there's this book that my my coach um one of my coaches recommended, and it's a happy pocket full of money. <laughs> and you might, you know, as Christians, for example, we grow up here and uh, money is the root of all evil. Money is the root of all evil, which a lot of people have misquoted. You know, right. the love for money is the root for all evil. Mm -hmm. um, and so having that wired in, in your brain, it can really affect your psychology around money and how you, you know, use your gift. Like, I believe that I'm at this place now where through my business um, and through my fighting and so on, I have affected so many people's lives in terms of giving back. How could I give back if it wasn't for the money that I've earned or the money that I had? you know, to give back, to do back, back to school drives, to do stuff like that, uh, to help kids all around the world. So um, I'm reading this book just to kind of rewire my whole uh, psyche when it comes on to my thoughts about money and especially spirituality and money, um, you know, as a, as a person, a woman of faith, you know, a lot of people tend to come down heavy on people of faith who speak about money and they term it prosperity gospel or you know i'm not sure when it becomes prosperity gospel or not so this is the book i'm reading now a happy pocket full of money and it's all about infinite wealth and abundance here and now and let me tell you who wrote the book it's david cameron who wrote the book so um as as someone who is a child of a king that's a kind of 
space that I want to be in. I, I want to rewire my brain as when it comes on to lack and, you know, money is the root of all evil, that kind of thinking and get my place, my mind and my whole body to that place where I am open to accepting the abundance and the, all the money that I can work to get. And I'm not talking about working to myself to debt now. I'm talking about being wise. Because, you know, right. as a child of God, I want to be wise about it. And as you said, you you do a lot of um, philanthropy right across the world. So you're going to need money. It takes money to do all of that, you know. And and, and, yeah. and, and, and as I said, no, uh, it's, not a, <laughs> it's not a shameless flow. But again, if you want to connect with her, with her different philanthropist work, guys, she's also a philanthropist. Just last year in the COVID, she did some um, workshops with kids back in Jamaica um, for virtually for getting ready for CXC. She has gone to Tanzania doing school during her summer because she's also an educator. And so in her summertime, she used that time to plug with other persons around the world. So if you were saying, oh, that sounds like another thing I can connect with her with, sure, click on that link and maybe book an apartment or reach out to her on Facebook, connect with her. Um, let's get this mission rolling okay guys let's get the mission yes because we're coming up on back to school now and last year we also did a back to school where I was able along with a lot of my friends who helped me because I don't do this by myself that's one of the great things too to be in this position where I am where my friends have helped me to buy tablets like we bought you know over a dozen tablets last year and we were able to send them back to Jamaica to children who were were in need and some people got tablets some got uh you know phone credits all different kinds of um support from the program that we did so yes and I need more money because I want to touch more people's lives I don't just want to do 12 tablets come on I want to do 1200 <laughs> tablets 12,000 tablets for children I want to I want to make sure that all the children in the world have access to education because I believe that you know the wonderful sister Brian you, you know who I'm talking sister Vivia Brian our, one of our church mommies told me once that all children need is God and a good education. And I strongly agree with her and I believe in that. So I definitely want children all across the world to be able to experience and have um, education right at their finger, um, fingertips. So. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, this, in case you're still wondering, are we... Are we still talking about business? This is a woman that has so many facets to her and I had to touch everything. So this is Sunny Green Reynolds. We're still talking about Black Owned Business Month. Um, she's the owner of Lit Publishing Limited. She's an entrepreneur. She's a motivational coach. She's an educator, a philanthropist. She's here with us today. And before we go, Sunny, I asked you earlier, on the spot, I didn't even prepare you for it. Um, the Monday motivational um minute that you normally do with um us on a Monday. As I said, I look out for them all the time. Just quickly before we leave, just leave something motivational, something that my audience, your audience, will be able to reflect on, even as they consider um moving into whatever journey they're in. And um, oh, forgive me. Hold on, <laughs> stick up feet. Before we even go into that, I had one more question for you. Tell us, especially for persons who um, are in the space of owning a business or want to own a business, is there anything that um, you know now that you wish you knew at the beginning of your journey as an, a business owner, an entrepreneur? And then you can move into the Monday motivational and I, I will have anything else to say. <laughs> <laughs> all right okay so <laughs> Shelly will crack you up all right so uh what I so when I was just getting started I spent a lot of time and a lot of mental energy on getting my website perfect for example now my business I'm not going to say that not that everyone 
doesn't need to have a website, but my business is not the kind of business or right now in my business, but where I'm at right now is the place where, you know, most of, I am not sure that I've had a client who have come to me through my website. So I'm at this point now where even earlier when you asked me, where's my website or what's my, how can people connect with me? I didn't send anyone to my website. And it's not that I don't have a website. Yes, I do have an, a website. It's for informational purposes. But right now, um, I feel like whatever it is that you want to do, you know, people can start testing or, or, you know, just trying to prove their concept using social media, which is free for all of us. I'm not telling you that, you know, after testing and, and, and you know, proving your concept that you wouldn't want to or you shouldn't move on to having your own website yes that's also important too but the point that i want to make is so many times people have great ideas and they sit down and try to perfect the, those ideas and you don't know what you're perfecting you don't know if it's an idea that you know is going to change lives yet you don't know if it's an idea that people are going to fall in love with right away. So that's why it's very important to prove that concept and then move it to the next level. So I would want to, you know, uh, just encourage someone who is out there. If you're thinking of starting a business, if you're thinking of starting something, if it's not e-commerce, because of course, if it's e-commerce, you're going to need a shop online. Um, but if it's a service base, for example, go ahead and get started in your small community using your, uh, your, your platform, using your social media, for example, and try to have your first two or three 10 customers and see how it goes. Prove your concept. Some of you here in your communities, it's a good time for those of you who are at home to you know, try some of those things that you've been wanting to do. Go ahead in your small communities and try to prove that concept. And then you can know where next to go. You don't want to frustrate yourself doing one website this month didn't work out then three months down the road you want to do another website everything cost and i do know that you know buying uh, buying all the software that you might need can cost you know getting the labor can cost and not to mention the amount of time you're going to spend frustrating yourself and wondering why is it this working oh i want to get it perfect but a part of the perfection is also testing and proving the concept. So back then, you know, I'm, I'm really happy that I didn't just do website. I was also promoting my business on social media and social media has been more rewarding for me than, um, than website has been. And th that's just my personal um, testimonial there. <laughs> Um, when it comes on now to motivation, what can I say? I want to just uh, remind you that, you know, if God made you, and I'm sure that God made all of us here on planet Earth, you have greatness. You are created as a person of greatness. And God has created you for a purpose and for a time as now. I'm sure I've said it before, if you look around you, you may have known someone who has passed on earlier this year. So definitely we're all here for a purpose right now. It's very important that we don't just sit and find all the flaws and the faults that we have and not be great. Uh, in the eyes of God, because he has given all of us talents, he has given all of us gifts, he has given all of us ideas, and it's time for us to stop discrediting the ideas, the gifts, the talents that God has given to us, and start to move forward in faith, you know, take that first step of faith, and do the great work that God has called you to do. Now, the great work that God has called you to do or called me to do doesn't have to be going in front of a pulpit to preach the word, but it could be just making somebody's day or making sure that, you know, you're in a gifting business that people can show love to their loved ones or you're teaching people to do something like I'm doing. It doesn't matter what you're doing. 
just make sure that you're living in your greatness, walking in your greatness. And I must say thank you, Shelly, for living in your greatness, walking in your greatness as you do by celebrating. I'm telling you, every time my birthday comes around, my anniversary comes around, teacher, like this woman makes me feel so special, especially I'm, I'm from a family where, uh, you know, we're not the most celebratory kind of family. And there you have it. Like she has her place in the world and she has taken her place. And I'm sure sooner or later, you know, this is going to grow into something bigger because this is how it goes. You know, people, Facebook didn't have over 2 billion people all at once at day one. You know, they started small, they had to test and then they prove and then they grow. So that's how it is. So that's my motivation for you today. Get up, whatever idea, whatever talent, whatever gift the Lord has given to you, um, go and execute, go and do. Live by faith and not by sight. If he has placed that in you, surely he will guide you into using it in the right way. All the best. God bless. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. See, guys, it's, I told you she's phenomenal. <laughs> Thank you so much for your kind words. Thank you so much for your kind words. And, and that, ladies and gentlemen, brings us to the end of another episode with my friend, my new um, writing coach. <laughs> I've been Look at me celebrating her. <laughs> I'm sitting there and I'm like, Ladies, Ladies and gentlemen, she promised to look out for that book. Look out for that book. I'll be back to talk I, I, about I the book with her. Um, what do you call that thing? No, that vision board. Yeah, I have them on my vision board. I need to really start putting everything into motion with that. I, I literally, I am, I know at least two books I'm sitting on. <laughs> and I, I, I'm Go moving. ahead and use the I, link I, that I sent you that you're going to put. The link that you're going to put in the description yes, of this yes, I will be and book enough. your call, please. Thank yes. you. <laughs> this is no fluff. I'm sitting here feeling so convicted. <laughs> you know, when the conviction starts, another friend of ours, guys, and this is just an open conversation, but um, real quick, <laughs> uh, when the conviction started, when I was talking with Tanika, she wrote a book and I'm like, Lord, I need to work on it. <laughs> Uh, so check out that episode too, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, welcome, um, guys. Thank you so much for joining us today. That's how it is with me. You know, I bring out joy and everything. And uh, it was a pleasure, Sonia Green Reynolds, to have you with us. Lit Publishing Limited. Remember that. Light of the world. Illuminating the world with words, right? I got it right? Awesome. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm going to put in the link. Um in the description for you to book your appointment with her. You can check her out also on Facebook and LinkedIn. And I'm sure you will also won't regret it. All right. And um, you can connect with her and get your, your book started as well as myself. <laughs> and thank you so much for coming. I, I really appreciate your time. And thank you so much for sharing with us. And I wish you all the best and all the success in all your endeavors. Thank, Thank you. you. It was amazing being on the Michelle's show <laughs> and sharing all the laughter. And I just want to say thank you to all of you who tuned in today. And I hope that you all will keep her accountable with this book. <laughs> That's what we all need, all right? We need some accountability sometimes. And she definitely does need some accountability. <laughs> okay so Good. it was right. amazing though it was Until great thank you so much <laughs> I, told you, I told you i have a lot of interesting um owner business owners coming out i still have a couple more in my in my arsenal guys so hang tight there's some more episodes coming up so i'll see you next time and remember take care of you because you are number one you are unique and as sonia said god placed you here for something great let's work on that greatness okay have a great day, guys. God bless. <laughs>